Uh, hello and welcome to Indie Alarm Podcast. Right? Randall definitely agrees with that intro. Uh, this episode, what? Two, 13. Yeah, Anthony, top left. Episode 13 of the Indie Alarm Podcast. I'm joined by Randall, aka Zen5. Okay, thank you for our audio listeners. They can hear you put the thumbs up. Oh, yeah, my bad. What's up? <laughs> Fuck. And Brian Delros on the call. Hmm. Oh my god. You guys are <laughs> both fucking terrible. Uh, and I'm the host, Anthony, for fucking episode 13. I keep saying episode 13 for some reason. It's probably because it's almost Friday the 13th. Uh, housekeeping. Patreon.com slash ADLR plays if you want to support the stream. If not, you can go to YouTube. Oh, no. Before you go to YouTube, you can watch live, usually usually on Tuesdays. Today we're recording kind of late. Uh, I was too sloshed on Tuesday. The whole day. Huh? A whole day late, not a little late. A little late would be like an hour. (laughs) A little late will be less than a week, right? Okay? You're a liar. Okay. Um, What did I say? Twitch.tv slash ADLR to watch live and interact with us while we record the episode. Oh, and if not, you still can't make that. You go to YouTube.com slash ADLR for... Oh, ADLR Plays. Sorry. And uh, watch all the episodes there. Uh, Faux free when it comes out later on in the week. Uh, That's about it. Uh, How are you guys doing? Besides Randall being tired. Uh, what did I do today? Okay, that explains how you, what you, <laughs> did you even I go to the I, gym? Yeah, I went to the gym. Uh, let me remember. I went to the gym and I came back and then I started working on mixing some of my like rough drafts. And then I've just been talking to people, trying to get them to work on things. And then now I'm here. Okay. Okay. You're releasing that um that clip you did with the uh the true by uh what the hell is it? That song's true, but what what's it? Spandu Spando Ballet? Ballet? Yeah, Ballet. What do you mean I did that last week? Are you releasing that on audio only form? It's only like forty seconds, just keep watching the Instagram video over and over. Again. That's fucking terrible. That's not the answer we all need to hear. That's not what America wants to hear, Randall. Well, Randall. I keep throwing them. both of you guys up with the damn names. I look just like him, so that's probably right. <laughs> what, about you, what about you, Randall? Are you tired? That's it? Yeah, I'm, I'm still adjusting to this new schedule, so it's, uh, it's rough. I mean, yeah, I saw you this morning, up and early, left here before me. It sounds like it's, it's working for you. Um, it looks like it's working for you. In the morning, it's like... It's hard to get out of bed, but once I'm up, I, I think I'm up. But then it's when I get to work and I'm sitting there. At a certain moment, I start getting sleepy, and I'm literally like fighting a sleepy monster. Ah, uh, like it's you don't I drink. Know, I have to get up and walk around. You don't drink coffee time. or any energy drinks in the morning. I've never tried the energy drinks in the morning. I mean, I, the only time I tried it was the time. We was it the monster? Yeah. Like two, a few days ago. But um, come to think of it, they do have monsters in the, in the thing. Or which, but which monsters? You gotta make sure it's the it's the, the Zero one. Ultra, dude. Wazowski. It's the one with the with the white canister. I think that's the Zero Ultra one. Okay. So yeah, you can drink that one. So they have. So what's monsters. in your schedule? Are you just going to work earlier so you get out earlier? So I get up at six something. Well, technically, it's supposed to be six ten, so that I could be so I could leave and be at work at seven a.m. so that I can get out at four p.m. four p.m. so I can go directly to the gym, which I did today, which was weird, and then um, come home, shower, be productive. But what ended up happening was coming home, shower, and falling asleep. Nice. So. uh I think gonna be I'm wide awake. To that. <sighs> just, other than that, I guess I'm good. It just takes a couple of days, you know, to get it working. To get used to it anyway. Oh man. What have I been doing? Oh this week uh we I saw The Greatest Showman, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Finished Preacher, season three. Watched the entirety of Castlevania, because it was fucking four episodes. 
and listen to Eminem's album. I just so, want... so I have something funny to say about uh, Jurassic World. And I finished God of War. We'll talk about more. It's going to be a spoiler cast later on in the episode. Go ahead. So, I go upstairs. And I knew y'all were watching Jurassic Park. Yeah. But then I immediately didn't hear anything. Did y'all just like... I thought like the movie sucked so bad that y'all just stopped watching it. No, we watched all of it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. Okay. It just stopped? What do you mean? Like the audio... Like, I don't know. Maybe I was just like really engulfed in what I was doing, but... You're just know. wanking. Yeah, dude. Okay. Nah, we watched all of it. Okay. It was... um. I still like the first one more than this one. So, do you think it sucked? I think the best part of I we're, we're jumping between. I was like, I guess might as well go over it now. Uh, the best part was just the them literally escaping the lava. Oh yeah, Magic that, School that, Bus. That scene, that scene was like, I'm like, oh shit, it was really cool looking. They, it was the most exciting part. And then after that, they started throwing in, hey, this person's a fucking clone of this person, and I'm like, what? What are we talking about here? What is? I was waiting for that girl to like be, be like part raptor or something. Yeah, like they kept like getting close to her, and I was like looking at her eyes, like primal. waiting for them to change or yeah. something. Give me a sign, something. No, it was. I don't know. It like lost steam halfway through, and I'm like, ah, can this end? Yeah, I thought, I thought it was dry. Hmm. By the way, we cross that off for later. Oh, my God. Uh, Kelsey in the chat. And so there's uh, Johan. Kelsey's asking, what movie are you talking about? We're talking about Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. The second Chris Pratt Jurassic uh, Park movie, I guess, or Jurassic World. Excuse me. Uh, okay. He says he hasn't seen it. I, to be honest, I don't think he'd be missing anything. Or missing much. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't race to fucking Netflix or wherever you can get it out or Prime or whatever. You'll be fine without watching it. Alright, let's just quickly jump into the news. There's only like fucking four items here on the list on this list. Man, the four. That's how slow this week's been. I mean, Labor Day weekend and nothing's going to be really announced. Uh, Kelsey says, I'm just waiting for it to come out on Blu-ray. Yep. First item on the list. Mr. Robot, ending in season four. That's the next season. Will be the final season. Uh, so originally, it was supposed to be eight seasons for... Er, so wow, let me stop. Originally, it was supposed to be eight episodes next season, and then a final fifth one. So, But now they increase the amount of episodes to 12, and they're going to end it in season four. They'll start production this winter, and it'll premiere next year. Is this not the dopest shit you've heard that it's this week? So no. wait, did you say they start production when? This winter, so I'm um, soon. December. Yeah. Or er, yeah. November, December. Yeah, and then it'll premiere sometime later on in 2019. You thinking like mid year? Maybe. I don't know. It depends. Because I know they don't want to get in the w- they don't want to get in the way of Game of Thrones. When is that coming back? I'm pretty sure it's April of next year. I think it was April. Game of Thrones final season premiere? It's either April or July, I think, one of those. Oh, they narrowed it down. Before summer 2019. That's what they nailed it down, or narrowed it down to. I thought they already released a poster with a date on it. Oh, well, let me see. I don't, nope. Oh, hold on. Wait, what? No, first half of 2019. This would like would likely be in March or April. So yeah. So probably right after Game of Thrones. This will probably air. Um, awesome. Good news. I mean, every season of Mr. Rogers has been getting better and better. So if he if he's if it's the climactic end, it's going to be season four and it's going to be over. Awesome. That's just great. 
Yeah, because where they left off is uh, there's not much. There's no not much left to go. No, no more other places to go. And like I think they have one or t- one attack antagonist left. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, spoilers from Mr. Robot. I think it's just the um the cross dressing dude, right? The one that's asphyxiated with time. Oh yeah. I think he's like the last guy, right? Because I think what's his name is turned out to be what's it, what's her name's daughter. I'm not gonna say names, but or I'm sorry, turned out to be what's the name's father. Yeah. Um, we'll move right along before we continue to spoil Mr. Robot. Hmm, go watch it before it comes out. <sighs> Next item on the list: Valve is making Counter Strike Global Offensive a free edition. With a free edition, you're able to play offline and watch other people play on the CS TV, and that's about it. I don't know why this is the move they're making, especially since they've made T- they've switched TF2 from a paid game to free to play. I don't know why they're holding back with CS:GO. They make a lot of money on the the loot boxes. That makes no sense. I don't know. That was a short and sweet one. We can move on because that's just a what? Uh, Anthem Story DLC will be free. Uh, Bioware announces that the story will be... uh, The story DLC that's going to be added to Anthem will be free, so you don't have to worry about missing out on lore or whatever. That's that's just crazy to me. The game hasn't even dropped yet. And they already have planned DLC. That's how roadmaps work, man. At EA and, and those big publishers like EA, Ubisoft, they're like, yo, here's the base game. How much time we have allotted? How much time and money we have allotted for the base game? And then, whoop. Uh, depending on how much either cash they have, or hey, we, maybe we can make do this amount of uh, work up for DLC if they have plans for it or ideas. I don't know, man. Kelsey says, and I quote, when a mommy and daddy love each other very much, they make kids who make dumbass decisions, end quote. I'm sorry, let me quote again. Fuck the DLC companies, end quote. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense because it's like, okay, you're telling us that there's going to be... De- Why don't you just put it in the game now? Because that would cause it would, cause... it would come out later. Then don't tell us. Because that, me as a person who's, who wants to play this game, mm-hmm. it's like, if you have extra content... Now you just let me know that you have extra content. Just it, put it in the game. To play devil's advocate here, it's they, they have extra content planned. They don't have it ready to go. Some Back in the day, they okay. used to do that. So? I, okay, I'm okay with that to a certain extent. Uh-huh. But then don't tell me before the game comes out. Like, really? It's the same way. Like You know how they make a trailer for E3 and then you're like, oh, that game's going to be cool. You got to wait for the game. It's like, hey, here's some DLC. Let's before switch. the game comes yeah. out. Before the game comes out, hey, you just wait for the DLC after you play the game. I don't know, man. Like this, the way they fucking roll these things out, just why? That's the same thing with. I don't think I put this on here. Oh, that's a news article I forgot to put on here. Spider Man's getting DLC already for the next three months. Did you hear about the news about Spider Man and uh, how the graphics are not as good as they supposed to be? I saw people trolling like, "Oh, look at this puddle! This puddle's not as big as the other thing." I'm like, "It was more. Stop. It was more stuff than that, man." I don't know. You you will find out when you get it. But I heard a lot of people complaining about how it, it's almost going to be like another um, division. Oh, that's fine. Cause the division still looked fine when it came out. Oh I, shit! Someone's at the I door. Was, I was expecting. Okay. I was expecting so much more. Because the trailer showed one thing, and then when you actually saw it, it wasn't what the trailer showed. I also all I see is that it's Spider Man being fucking awesome, and that's all I care about. I don't care if it's fucking two polygons on there. Really? I'm gonna be fucking swinging like Spider Man. Mary Jane's gonna be there, dude. I'm gonna be like, hey girl, whoosh, bring her in like Spider Man, dude. The visuals. The visuals are gonna be fine, Randall. The visuals are gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fucking Last of if Us on PS3. Look like what I've seen so far, I'm I'm going I'm not, I'm not gonna be happy about it. You're gonna be fine. Yeah. You're not gonna notice okay. it, man. Right that's why. Uh, You're not gonna notice it. Right that's why it's good to not see any content unless I'm playing it because I don't have these little bullshit expectations. I'm just gonna play it as is and then I'm fine with it, or I'm disappointed. 
Yeah, it's a valid. But that's then that means you just okay with whatever people give you. Well, you're basing your a... whole assumption on the game off of screenshots. Why do? What do I benefit there? Or video. It doesn't matter the video. What do I right benefit? Though. Or su- suppose it in-game play. Okay, but that's all compressed video. I will see video. in-game play when I load the game up. Okay. If we lived in Bryant's world, there would be no E3. There would be any no, no conferences. We would just read on, on a, a piece of paper with black text, a white piece of paper that says, Street Fighter Six coming out. Last of Us. No pictures, no video, no nothing. I'm okay with that. Really? I've definitely looked. Randall, there's some... I mean, it's not the same thing, but there's there's artists and music they just drop on a day. Like Eminem, he never he never said he was dropping an album. He just dropped it. You know how awesome it was to go to new releases and see Eminem has a new album. That's different though. Can you imagine me just loading up PSN and be like, oh, by the way, here's fucking Last of Us Two already. People will lose their shit. They're like, what? It's out, and then no nobody has coverage on it. It's just people fucking playing it, developing their own fucking opinions, not going to the internet and saying, is it good? No, play it. It's out. So you don't think there should be ratings on games or they can be. If you don't want to spend right away, then wait and then you'll have they'll have the same coverage. The same people who give you like, hey, yeah, your name will play it, because they'll load up their PSN going, fucking, oh shit, Last of Us Two came out, they drop everything, play it, so you and then think review it. We should live in a world where companies slash studios should tell us nothing and just drop stuff. I'm okay with that happening. I will, I would prefer them to tell us as little as possible. The longer that it starts, it stays out there fucking baking and cooking. Hey, this game's coming. It's coming. This game's coming out. Here's a new trailer. Oh, here's another new trailer. Oh, by the way, we're we're delaying it. And this like that's too much shit. Just fucking give me the game, man. Yeah. Like that Cyberpunk. I'm already that forty eight minutes. I loved it, but you've already shown me way too much, bro. As much as I love that forty eight minutes of awesomeness, and all the tears I was trying to hold back because it just looked so beautiful. I, I let let me just drop it, man. Oh shit, we Damn, got Adam some... Kelsey in the fucking chat. Eminem don't Damn, tell the I'm... fans about his music. His music tells the fans. I what? Have, I would have something to say to that later. Yeah. Okay. Wait, yeah, we'll what, get to what it. happened? He says, Adam says, uh, "Quote Eminem don't tell the fans about his music. His music tells the fans." End quote. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I, uh, I the, his music didn't tell me he it was out. I just saw it because it was on the new, new releases for on on a, a Spotify. If they announce a Street Fighter Six, I don't have to see pictures and no cigars not in it or launch. So, <laughs> Brian knows the alpha. When he sees Street Fighter Six, he's like, "Oh, I'm paying sixty dollars for the game and another thirty dollars for cigar." Mm-hmm. Okay, so wait, so will you still be doing pre-orders? God no. The, the only pre-order it. I'm willing to do is if I like wholeheartedly trust the company. And there's only one game I'm going to pre-order, and that's Indivisible. You're a liar. As soon as it says pre-order, I'm doing it. No, I mean, there's one other company as well. I didn't say there's only one company. I said there's only one game right now. Oh, on, okay. Uh, my apologies. My apologies. What other company? I just finished speaking about it, Brian. It's CD Projekt Red, Brian. Oh, sh- oh sh- yeah, when Cyberpunk is available for pre-order, I'm buying it. Because the other two Witcher games they released are fucking breathtaking. So why would you pre-order that? Is it? Was it because of the trailer or was it because of the company? Because the company has a reputation now that because they the deliver. Company. They've had the precedence already. That like, yo, when we release our From shit, their previous it, games. Yes. Yeah. Like if... Yeah, that's pretty much the other good example. Uh, Adam in the chat. I feel like a lot of issues with games lately, besides the price for the amount of content, is that game is so over advertised that it gets hyped to a point that it can't possibly live up to, and then it's let it's a letdown. Do you know how you yep. avoid that, Adam? By not watching trailers. Yeah, you'd have to actively like avoid it if you can. But I mean, sometimes you can't because you're either watching TV or you're watching a movie, and then they have like a thirty second spot that they paid for, and you have to watch it, but. And the 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 main issue is that they they leave the games out there to fucking marinate for so goddamn long in the public's eye. the The best example is what Bethesda's been doing. I don't know if they're still doing it, but like with Fallout Four, when the Fallout Four came out, it was that E three, and I think that was their first or second time at E three with their own press conference. Like, oh, here's Fallout Four. Here's how it's gonna look. 
Oh, and it's coming out in like two or three months. All right, so. Because I'm sitting here as you're talking, I'm trying to imagine the world where we don't have press conferences. We don't have any of that. We're already moving towards that. And all we have is a title and a date. Yeah. So that means that, this is just my opinion, obviously. Yeah. That studios will have to be pumping out a lot of games frequently. Because if you don't have trailers, if you don't have press conferences, if you don't have any events to promote a game that hasn't come out yet, you're going to have a lot of dead space. That's Meaning fine. Like, there's periods where you play these games because everybody's not going to play every game. So you're going to have periods where someone has ran through a couple of games and they're like, okay, there's nothing currently out that I'm interested in. When is the next setup going to come out? And if there's no press conferences, there's no articles, there's no nothing. Yeah, there's all you need is a date. You're literally sitting there like... Right, Randall, you're, you're, the use case you just said is probably 1% of the people in this, in this entire planet. There are so many games out there right now. And cont- on a daily basis, Steam is flooded with games. Mm-hmm. Indies are, are released weekly on PSN Store. There is even if, there is too much to play. There is, you will never have a drought. And have them being silent. Go ahead. Even if you choose not to, oh, I can't afford to play every game, so there's gaps where you wouldn't be able to buy the next AAA. There's like racks of free to play games, and a lot of them are still world renowned. Yeah, I mean Warframe. Even though it's a, it's a huge grinding game, that's still the, the one of the the most populated uh, free to play games. And then you have MOBAs, unfortunately, and then you have other stuff too. Yeah, and the MOBAs. Like, uh, Dota 2 still racks in a shitload of cash. League of Legends still racks in a shitload of cash. Fortnite has got has brought, brought in an ungodly amount of cash, and that's free to play the free game too. I could kind of dig it. I could dig it off the aspect that the, ex- the, the sheer excitement, like you said, if you just wake up one weekend morning. And you go on, I don't know, mm-hmm. Steam or something. Yeah, and you see, and you see a new game from a AAA um, company, or it doesn't even have to be AAA. Just a new good just something game. Something you were looking for. And you're like, oh my god, uh-huh. download. You know, like yeah. I could imagine the excitement, but at the, at the same time, I don't know. But that's the worst case scenario. That's what they do no marketing. But if you if they just come out and say, hey, we're releasing this game on this date, you have the date. You'll know when it's coming out. But again, I mean that's everyone likes hype. I'm not gonna say I don't like the hype. I like I watch some. I watch, usually watch the first trailer, maybe the two trailers. If the first one is just CG, then I have to watch the second trailer to see the gameplay. But at least if one trailer of gameplay. Go ahead. If it's something completely new, like a new IP, and they're presenting it for the first time, I technically have to because there's nothing to base it off of unless the company is so up there in my head that I'm willing to buy it immediately. Yeah. There's gonna have some precedence where it's like I I know when I buy from this person from the said thing. I know the, the the polish is up to is up to par. They has content. It's it's good to go. So okay, last question. So, <clears throat> are there is there a company or are there companies that you wouldn't even have to look as soon as they they you hear they're dropping something you're like bye. CD Projekt Red and C- yeah, Dab CD Projekt Red. Games. For me, it's CD Projekt Red. I was gonna say Valve, but the artifact game I'm not buying because I'm not. That's not my. I don't I play card games. Um, did, did I just buy? Probably Dreambox now, because no, because I never played Severed. I'm oh, Severed. I'm trash. There's a third one for me. Uh, Super Giant. Oh my Super god, you're massive. right. The Which trans- one is it? The, I think yeah. it's. Hold on, I know you're talking about Transistor and um, Bastion. Empire, yeah. Supermassive did uh, no, I think Supermassive did um until dawn. Well, yeah, with they did, the, did until dawn. I think they might be on there. No, they did. They did kill uh, Killzone two, right? No, Killzone two. No, like Killzone as well. Oh, I don't, I don't think so. Super Ma- I don't, I don't remember. No, that's Guerrilla Games. Oh, I'm trash. Yeah, so Super yeah. Giant Games. Super Massive is on. There's like five. There's Super Giant Game Games. Only Girls, which is Lab Zero. CD Projekt Red. Bioware used to be on there until they dropped their fucking anthem beta known as Andromeda. Oh, Cobra is in the chat and he says Naughty Dog question mark. That is on my list. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Naughty yeah, Dog yeah, is yeah, definitely yeah. on the list. 
their press their history has been phenomenal so far. Crash Bandicoot, fucking Uncharted, Last of Us. It's been great. Uh, hold on, chat's out, is out here. Uh, Kelsey says the original Blizzard North Company. I would buy everything from them. Oh my God, Kelsey would answer. I don't know why he hasn't said it, but Square Enix. I think in the yeah, in the nineties. In the 90s or early 2000s, if anything said Square, Squaresoft, I'm sorry, not Square, Enix, Squaresoft, Wait, no, Kelsey Square bought Enix. it. No, they, that was a merge. So Squaresoft oh, okay. was was separate at a time. Like, I think that was just a, let me, before, let me not say wrong things here, Squaresoft. Nintendo, maybe. If you're talking about Final Fantasy, it's Square Enix. I know, but there's a point when right. Square Enix, or, like, it was a different thing. Oh, oh there, here it is. It merged Squaresoft with Enix. Right and then became Square Enix. Squaresoft was a special, its own thing, and then it, it was merged. Uh, Kerber's saying, what about Nintendo, Zelda, Mario, Super Metroid? I think Nintendo to an extent, because sometimes no, they'll no. experiment, and then I'm like, no, I don't, I didn't, they, didn't, they, they missed, they hit or miss, you know what I'm saying? I have to see it first, if it's Nintendo still, because they sold me Kirby Canvas Curse, which is trash. They still make Yoshi games, I don't give a fuck about Yoshi, and then they made yeah. Captain Toad, so I'm not going to blindly follow them. I haven't played Captain Toad, so I can't speak on that. Uh, Johan's asking, what's this conversation about? We're, we're basically talking if there's any company that you will blindly uh, pre-order a game because their precedent, like, because you liked all their their um, their their previous games or, like, I don't know, you just have a good rep, like, it's reputation that you're, you're okay with. Um... Yeah, I think Naughty Dog's definitely on there. Just, there might be some other ones because it's not coming up at the moment. <laughs> what the heck is going on with Ubisoft? What you mean? I haven't heard they're anything. They're steep. No, they're working on the Division 2. That's coming out soon. And then and the new Assassin's Creed's coming out soon too. Um, Odyssey? Far Cry DLC. There's been Far Cry DLC, but those have been hit and miss. Hit or miss. Um, what else do they have on the pipeline? I think they have something else. Oh, Siege. Out Siege DLC. Yeah, like Siege DLC is cut. Like recently, I think a, a new patch came out with more, a lot more content. Yeah, like Ubisoft's been yesterday. steady. They, they're they're doing pretty well actually. They have Wildlands. That's apparently people are liking it. Oh, hold on, I think I'm a fat liar, dude. March fifteenth, twenty nineteen is for the Division Two. Whoop, my bad. That's yeah, not in a few months. Hmm. Beyond Good and Evil Two is going to come out at some point. Oh, that too. That's yeah. Ubisoft. Yeah, Ubisoft's busy, man. They got their head down. They working. Another Just Dance, I'm assuming. It's a trials game. Those sell. Like the reason that they still make Just Dance is because those things sell a lot. They had Mario and the Rabbids, which actually sold a lot because it ended up being a good turn-based RPG. I feel like people Fun. who buy those games are the ones who want to work out but don't want to work out. The Just Dance. Yeah. Maybe they just want to dance, Randall. They just, they they just want to dance. They just want to dance. That's the point of that game, Randall. You get in there and you just dance. I don't know. I feel like someone who just wants to dance will actually go out and dance. Oh my God, Rockstar! If they if they go out and dance and they don't get points for dancing, that's oh, what the game oh, so is. it's about the points. I'm sorry. It's about being yeah. rewarded for wanting to just dance. Uh. Um, yeah, Rockstar is probably another company that would be like because I mean they've been, for me they've had a good uh, record so far. I enjoyed a lot of their stuff. Um, I, where, where were we? Anthem and DLC. Cobra saying pretty Ubisoft is pretty up my sleeve. Ghost Recon, Wildlands, The Division, Far Cry games. Yeah, Ubisoft also has okay track record. Yeah. Oh yeah, Johan definitely is definitely from software. People who make uh, oh yeah from Dark software. Souls, uh, Jesus. Bloodborne, and I think that new I one. A lot of people. Sekiro, yeah, Sek Sek Sekiro, so Jiro? Sekiro, yeah, that one looks really cool. I want to try it, but I, I, I don't trust them enough to spend money on my own game. Depending, yeah. <laughs> somebody else has a copy of like, can I try it? I'm not gonna spend money on them. For me, it's just way too. I, it's it's too difficult for me. I'm like I'm, I'm a baby in those type of games. So it's it's, it's 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 for it's for people with chest hair. You know what I'm saying? I already said Fig my, figuratively, my... figuratively chest hair because. I'm saying. I've already said how I feel about their quote difficult quote games, so I'm not gonna mention that again. But the only thing I can say from their games is that 
the thing that made me want to continue playing Bloodborne despite me mostly hating it is because the world, the like the whole setting or the world, and I, I looked, everything flowed when you went to a new area. It it felt like it connected to the last one. Okay. Whereas the Souls games, I don't give one fuck about. Let's go on to the last um, item here for the news. DICE shares uh, new information on Battlefield 5's Battle Royale mode and uh, a little bit more on their War Stories, which is like a single-player campaign mode. Uh, for the Battle Royale, it's going to be 64-player battles, which, to be honest, I, I'll get to that in a second. I think that's pretty much a cop-out. But uh, it's 16 teams of four. I don't know. It doesn't mention if it's going to be solos or duos. Uh, it'll take place on what the DIC. I'm so stupid. On DICE. Oh, wow. Let's try again. It will take place on what DICE calls, quote, the largest map in Battlefield history, unquote. End quote. Uh, the War Stories bit. It was pretty quick. Uh, there's going to be four War Stories at launch with an extra one planned for post-launch. Even though we just finished talking about DLC. EA's like, we're still doing that, dude. Uh, so yeah, their battle, their battle royale mode is gonna have sixty four players, which that's as much as a normal Battlefield Five game, thirty two versus thirty two, if I'm not mistaken. So I mean, that's gonna be interesting to see how that works out, especially since there's sixteen teams of four, which is just fucking fucking. There's just fucking six. Five. You just turned Irish. Yeah, you? dude, that's how angry it got me. Dude. Uh. A bunch of squads, I'm assuming. I don't know. Like, I don't know the numbers shouldn't fucking bother me, but I look at them like 64, really? Like, so you why did you say there's a cop out? Because that's 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 normal. A sudden, that's a normal Battlefield server. Like, mm-hmm. if I, if you go to play Battlefield, it's if I'm not mistaken, it's 32 versus 32. On huge maps, where you can get on fucking tanks and shit, like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I would expect Battlefield to like up the ante. Not just not to say that a lot more people is gonna make it more fun, but make it sound I guess we'll, I, this will this this make, tells me that it's just gonna be a very stable battle battle royale. Why can't they? You know, go for it. I was just gonna say like maybe this is just me, but you said battle. Mm-hmm. I immediately thought of like dudes running at each other in a huge field with axes and swords and shields and stuff like. Well, how come they don't do stuff like that? For honor. Why is it always guns and grenades and rocket launchers? Uh, Ubisoft released For Honor, which is like that, but it's not the scale of Battlefield. Like, I think it's only what four on four, and then there's a bunch of so. like AI running around, and it's like an actual like a war with axes, I think, and swords and stuff. <clears throat> uh, me and Brian will be doing like a little quick look later on because we got it for Xbox Live Gold. Uh, gold. Well, I mean, I installed it on PC, but I can't play that. I think somebody else wanted to play it in the Discord, but I don't know. Okay. Up to you, either one. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, Johan, with what's the update on Mario Tennis? Don't mean to pass you, but I'm just curious. Let me look. You know what? Live on fucking stream will make this fucking thing happen. You know what I'm saying? You said it last time, and live on stream, we were disappointed. Well, I mean, live on stream, who cares, bro? Uh, looks like Saturday will be a good day. Because Jan is off. And, I don't know, because damn, I think E-Man works. You can always just shoot him a yingle. I'll ask him, I guess. To see what time he works. If not, it'll be Sunday. So this weekend... Mario Are you doing anything for Chris's birthday? Because isn't that this week? It's Friday, yeah. All right, we're getting off topic here. Sorry. <laughs> we're just having... <laughs> so yeah, it'll be this weekend sometime. Uh, I don't know if I should stream or just record and then edit it later. I don't know. I don't know what the production will be like, but we'll see. Some 22s on there. That's not... Okay. That's about it for the news. Unless you guys have other, like, like fucking... New like breaking news that's happened in the last hour. I'm pregnant. That's the one that I believe. Okay. Well, um, congratulations, I guess. It's a dog. Oh shit! Yay! <laughs> All right. Uh, our consumption for the week. We already talked about Jurassic World. 
Uh, 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 Gabby in the chat saying, "Breaking news: Randall's a Ninja Turtle." So I, I, I don't know. Uh, Kelsey with uh, what about the new Destiny DLC? I have not tried it. I but yeah, Destiny. I haven't played the the Destiny DLC. But I think it's Forsaken. Yeah, we haven't played any of the DLC. We played the main story, and then we stopped. And every now and then, he's like, "Yeah, I wanted to keep playing that." Like, let me know. And now we're in September, and nothing's been done. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So so much shit to play. It's just too much, and that's and I don't think that's definitely not gonna that's not gonna happen. Because I think I'm gonna get guacamole soon, so then we can oh, do a four. Shit. <laughs> So we can do a four-player co-op. Because now that we have Parsec, we can do four-player co-op. I can, we all can be in our, our own houses, and I'll see if I can stream or record that. And then after that, Spider-Man. And then fucking... You know what comes out next week already, Randall? The next Tomb Raider game. I don't care. And then after that, Red Dead sometime. And then no, Horizon. Huh? Tomb Raider. It's next week. Oh, unless you got an early copy. Did you get an early copy, bro? Huh? You friends with Square? He likes other shapes more. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. But yeah, it, it's it's getting... What? It, what did he say? You don't want to know what he said. Okay. Um, it's getting real, really crowded now since the fall... It's, it's fucking game time. Fall time is game time. I'm not... Uh, what? I'm still in my... You're still in your... We'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk. Impression. We're going to get there. Get the All fuck right? over it. <laughs> Uh, Gabby said dicks is what he said. Okay, thank you. You can tell me dicks, Randall. Because so, of, as you were saying... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so then I guess go over the greatest showman real quick. Uh, stars Hugh... I was gonna say Hugh Laurie. It's Hugh Jackman. Hugh Hackman. Yeah, Hugh Jackman. Uh, Zendaya. Uh, the, 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 who else was in it? Oh, Zac Efron. Zendaya. I said Randall. I just said Zendaya. Dude. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh. Fuck That's all that matters. Uh, what was I gonna say? Keep it in your pants. Those are like the three <laughs> top built people. I'm assuming. Yeah. Cause I don't, I don't I really don't I didn't know, I didn't know that his wife. That I, like maybe she's also okay. Uh, but the story is the guy as a kid he always wanted to be uh. Does he always a perform some sort of performer? Uh, he's quick on his feet. Uh, witty. Um. In love with this girl who comes from like r- money, a lot of money, and he wants to buy her a house and stuff. Um, mm. The plot was very. Are you trying to tell them without telling them? Yeah, because I'm, I'm not gonna spoil this. We're, we're gonna have a whole. It I still want to see it. That's what I'm saying. I'm not Wait, you wasn't it. here when we were watching? No, Randy. I'm not he coming back. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said that just. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said that I'm gonna sludgehammer your TV. <laughs> oh shit! Like Dark um, Devil Jin's not coming out. <laughs> I guess we'll script the plot. The plot stuff. The plot I thought was a very was very. I want to say it was predictable. Like you knew what was gonna happen before it happened a long time. Like, I don't know, man. Okay, maybe not predictable. No, it's predictable. I'm sticking with what I'm saying. Really? I thought it was predictable. You thought the fire was going to happen. Huh? You thought that fire was going to happen. You can't say things when Brian... They hasn't... don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. I just said fire. All right. Now I know there's a mixtape. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody spitting bars. The, right? the, the actual fire? No, but I knew what... I can't... No, okay. The, the plot... When you guys see it, it gets to the point where you're like, okay, and I, you know the beats are going to be after a certain point. Um, speaking of beats, the okay. music... Actually, the music itself was... Was I thought well, some of them were really good. The issue I had is from the get go, I'm, I'm comparing this to La La Land. Mm. That's the my one. I guess let me just say, start that disclosure right now. The that's the the number one. When I started this thing, I'm like, oh, it's a musical. Let's compare it to the best one out there. You know what I'm saying? Oh god! Wait, wait, wait. wait. You said it's a musical. Yeah. Yeah. And Randall, you like this movie? Actually, yeah. Let me let's, okay, wait, let's look, turn look. the camera on him on this because uh, no, if you say, say look, 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 it's a yes or no question. Don't bullshit not, with excuses not, like I'm not, not trying. Yes, Dang, what the heck? Yes that wasn't my whopper. <laughs> really? Here's the thing, okay? <sighs> yes or no? The singing was in it initially. It was not annoying, but then it became annoying. 
But that that's that's separate from it being a music. I, I, I can I can back up back up on that. There's some points. You know what it was? In the hold on, there's there's parts in the movie where they start singing and it doesn't fit. Like they're having a regular conversation and they bust out singing for like a like a couple lines and they go back to acting dramatically and it just didn't it didn't flow naturally from regular to the to the music to back to like real life. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I was just gonna yeah, but... say, like, I think, I think what helped me endure the singing was the beat. Yeah, like the instrumentals were, like, the music was really good. Yeah. All right, so music. my question, I'm gonna repeat it again, and this time you give me a straight answer, you little shit. <laughs> did you like the movie or did you not like the movie? Don't be ashamed, Randall. The only thing he's gonna. I'm, tell- I'm literally trying to figure out if if I like the movie or not. I think you like the movie. This is PG answer. Yeah. That PR answer. No, he's not Puerto Rican. Oh, okay, that's not what uh, I meant. Uh, he's giving birth now. Anything to not answer? I don't know how to answer that question. Alright, well then think about it, because we can't just sit here and wait for you until... <laughs> he's fucking Cobra ducking. in the chat says he dislikes that he liked the movie. Exactly. Who, who what? His- and one of my, yeah, uh, one of the uh, viewers in chat said that you dislike that you like the movie. You like the is. movie, Randall. He, he, he definitely likes what, the movie, dude. He knows what I'm going to say right after. Yeah, no, I know. So look, look. I it was look. cool. I want answers. No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give you what okay, you're go. looking for. But in the... Go. It was... It was enjoyable when I watched it. Okay. Would I add it to my collection? No. Okay. The only reason I watched that movie is because of y'all. Okay. So now, what we're gonna, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna ask you again. Did you like the movie? Yes or not? Yes or not? You mean no? And I know no. what I mean. I'm waiting for your answer. Duck dodges over here. Thinks he's on Cartoon Network ass. <laughs> I don't know. It was alright. I feel like that. It was all right. He's just, he's just ducking everything. It ducks everything. We well, that's this is Lala. In my opinion, Lala Land is a lot better than that. Like the, my my one gripe with this movie, the movie is actually the Great Showman. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's actually really good. But the only, my only gripe is the the flow between the singing and yeah. going back to like the the actual acting. The act, yeah. Because sometimes it just it's a completely different tone because the music's more a beat, or if not, it's just the singing's loud. Like it's not, it didn't flow the right way. I'm not saying the right way. It didn't flow like the way La La Land for real. All right. Like it was, it, the way it did in La Land, it was well, fucking. I haven't seen it, so I don't... It was transitioned beautiful. Since anyway. you liked this movie, Randall, don't be give me your BS. You're gonna sit in your room. You're gonna get over your bullshit with God of War, and you're gonna watch La La Land. Yeah, I would actually know if he if he's got his bullshit with, with God of War, La La Land's gonna make him feel worse. Well, feel it, all right. Let yeah. it out. <laughs> all right. Um, I think that's it for the movies. For TV, I guess we can all talk about. I uh, quickly preacher season three, Brian. Um, like spoilers or not spoilers? I wouldn't since it's not that old. Yeah, you're right. Um, this season I thought was pretty good, but it was only good in in the beginning and at the end. The middle part felt like too much of a filler for me. Mm-hmm. Stuff was happening, but not at the pace I would want it to. Um, I think everybody but uh the uh Jesse had cool things going for him. Or that we're going through... No, because that's not true. In the beginning of it, Jesse had this thing with his, his childhood coming back. And then it was... Uh, ah. uh, I find... Okay, no. The, I can't even think. Uh, you want me to speak while you get your shit together? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> the whole season itself, I was. It's it's not the best season. I think the last season was, or season two. Mm-hmm. With with this season, the beginning was strong, except for with Cassidy. Yeah. I didn't give a fuck about him at the beginning. I thought he it was this little like, I, I didn't. He wasn't looking cute to me right there. Yeah, it he was, was, just he, was he was doing a lot of, he was doing a lot of like baby shit. The rest of the season for him, really well done. Yeah, uh, Jesse's yep. part. Really well done. Tulips, I gotta be honest, like, I didn't really give a shit about her arc. It, yeah, hers I was agree. just, let's just put a bunch of weird shit together since we don't know what we're doing with everybody else. 
He yeah, she definitely did. Even what's his even Scar? No, the guy with the white the white um, what's his name? Who? The one from the um the agency. Oh, uh, Star. Her star, yeah. Even he had a really good arc this this uh this season. Yeah. Uh, the only person that fell flat was her, and like that whole arc thing, and then the. Adam Kelsey, guess, what show or movie we are we talking about? We're talking about Preacher season three. Go ahead, bro. Sorry. The uh, main antagonist for Jesse in this season overstayed the welcome. That whole part, I'm like, oh yeah, I do something did. or don't, because I'm just tired of you. Yep, yep, I agree. But overall, I'm like, yeah, I'm just waiting for the next season at this point. Yeah, the the, the last episode had so much shit happening. It would not end. Was this the season that they introduced uh, the devil? Yeah. The I, I got shout out to the devil. Great actor, yeah. Great actor. You said that on live chat. Yeah, not that, not the devil in like religious. I'm talking about the character in the preacher. Okay. Like Satan's he in the show. Himself. But his character and the actor is having a good ass. He like he's having a good time playing the character. Um. Oh, the chick who played Azrael was pretty cool too. She didn't have much... that voice changing bullshit. I thought the voice changing thing was pretty cool. Uh, but she didn't have much of a spotlight before whatever happened to her happened to her. Um, the fucking cowboy or is it a cowboy? What do they call him? Oh, uh, this, this uh, something uh, something sinners. Fuck. Yeah, I forgot his name. But the cowboy also had a good good uh. Got a, had a good season as well because he was hanging around with uh, Hitler and uh, Assface. This no, literally his his face looks like an asshole. Yeah, I didn't even know that's his actual name in the comic. I just call him Assface. Yeah, his actual fa- name is Assface. Uh, Javi in the chest is the Saint of Killers. Thanks for looking out, the Saint of Killers. Yeah, everybody had their fun little moments in this. There's a lot of characters now that they're balancing and they're all given their a certain amount of sh- uh, spotlight and it's. So far, so good. I think I I agree. I think it's uh, Tulips was the least exciting from the whole thing. I mean, her feud with the other girl was was funny at times. Like, ah, okay, you guys hate each other, but yeah, it didn't. It, I hope I hope that she has bigger stuff later on. Cause, I mean, she's also communicating with another character. We don't want to spoil, but uh, I feel like. This next season has to be the last one because I don't see like how weird this show is lasting any longer than four seasons. It's starting to get yeah, starting to get a little stale, not stale, but I, unless they overdo like unless they have like some over the top shit to come up next next season. Like it's yeah, it's about time they they start killing everybody off, dude. Yeah, wrap that gavel, be yeah, wrap that gavel up. Um, yeah, that's about it for preacher season three. Uh, we all sat down and watched Castlevania Season 1. Show on Netflix. Four episodes, 20-something uh, minutes each. People, this is how you do TV. Mm-hmm. Okay? It's four fucking episodes. Every It was just every fucking cut to the next scene, we're moving the plot forward. The, the Castlevania is, is, is a fucking must-watch. Even if you're not a fan of the actual game, the fucking show is actually really good. Unless you have a thing for, like, gore. Because there's a lot of, like, blood and, I think, decapitation and stuff. A guy, like, for example, a guy gets whipped in the eye. And his eye comes fucking flying out of his face. That fucking show is fucking awesome. <clears throat> I uh, really liked it. I loved it. I fucking loved it. That voice acting I thought was pretty cool. Um, it, the, the show starts off setting up the villain. In a way that you're like, okay, the motive, he, you, you know the motive right off the bat. It might be an easy motive or like a quick, like a, maybe a cop out in some sense, but you understand. Um, after setting up the villain, I think it's the hero's the next episode, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it becomes fucking, and, and okay, it's not going to become, but if it has that mass effect, hey, let's start recruiting people. But not in a way where like, hey, I need to go recruit this person. It's like it happens naturally. Like, oh, my, well, I, I met you. You can do what? All right. Well, I guess we're hanging out now. And then it ends with, a, I don't want to spoil it. That's why I'm kind of being vague and 
What I really liked them. about about the show is that it's not like some guy being bad for for no reason just to be bad. They they did like what they did with Thanos, and it made the guy relatable. Yeah, like he, they give they give him actual like grounded motive that like you you can like, you can relate to. Until they reveal the protagonist, I thought that the antagonist was the protagonist of the show. Yeah, I thought the same thing. You thought the same thing? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. This because I thought it was about him, and I'm like. So if it's about whom, who is worse than him? Because <laughs> he's out here just killing everybody. Yeah, dude. yeah that was that was perfect. That was, that was a great. It was a great first episode to be like, what the fuck? It, it sets it sets the tone. It sets, I uh, like yeah, I think the tone will be that. The same. It sets the tone. The uh, sets up only one character, so no, I guess it's just the tone. The first episode sets the tone for the entire thing. And you feel for him too. Yeah, right off the bat. Cause you That's crazy. Like, you feel for the bad guy. Like, like you're thinking to yourself, yeah, if I was in that situation, I would probably do the same, the same exact the thing. The same thing. Everybody and their grandmother's dead <laughs> on the spot. So that's why it's like, sense. oh, shit. So that hopefully that last battle if for next season, which I think is coming out in a couple months, I, it, I just wanted, by the end of it, I wanted more. I'm yeah, scared with the next season. That we got spoiled by this season because everything was straight to the point, kind of like Ant Man, where plot was done, plot was done. All right, we're gonna carry this movie's story along. Yeah. And with this season, I, I'm afraid that they use this whole thing as like the beginning of a movie where you you set the plot, you set everybody's like personality and what their role is, and then the next season, I feel like it, it's gonna drag on. Hopefully, it doesn't like other fucking animes, but I yeah, don't know. They I, haven't said how many episodes it is, did, did they? Uh, I haven't checked. Uh. Johan in the chat says October twenty sixth. So I mean that's yeah, a month and a, a month and a half probably. Yeah. Uh, Ale- I was gonna say I'm sorry. Adam says, "Uh, dude, it's so good. I wish they had more episodes, but I understand it was just a setup to season two. This was the one of the best setup seasons I've ever I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. I mean, granted, only four episodes. But that's all I needed. I know the like, villains' motives. I know uh, uh, the heroes' motives. They even set up political." Uh, Political slash religious fucking conflicts that ties in very well with the lore, with vampires and people who go up against demons and stuff like all of it, all of it felt natural. In that, like the world building in those fucking four episodes were were great. I loved like every I, I think I loved every minute. Loved every single one. The only complaint I have for the show is they need to tighten up their animation. The animation, really? Of, like, I thought the it was fights, right. A lot of the fights look wonky just because maybe it's because it's happening slower than it should be. Like, it's like more like old school animation. But those, the, there's some fights that are like, eh. Even the fight at the end? Yeah, I thought the old no, one the, was cool. The, the one at the end, it was still slower than I thought it should be, but it looked good. Like, the second episode, any fights there just seemed like we were watching it underwater. Hmm. I'm not saying it's ugly, Johan. I'm saying at the pace at which it happens is too slow for how it looks. Oh, we got a the new show's... follower. Ginny Artemis. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, that, I thought the animation was fine. Uh, but I, think, I don't know. I wasn't like super focused in on the frame-by-frame with animation, but I thought it was cool. The action sequences look cool. But, yeah. No, I'm literally talking about frame-by-frame animation. I'm not saying... Like the style of the art, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the literal animation of the show. Ginny Artemis says, "Quote: Look at this. This is beautiful. Black people united, dark skinned, and light skinned united, being nerds." End quote. That's yeah, goals. dude. That's like we're out here, man. We're making waves out here, dude. Yeah, should hold hands right now. <laughs> For unity, Randall. <laughs> for unity, Randall. For the state of America. Why am I being emphasized? I'm not over there. We're both and even being if I emphasized. was, you guys would forget I'm there. Did you not hear the quote? Oh, Brian. Yes, we would forget. To be honest, I'm, for some reason, I'm forgetting when you're here and when you're not. Exactly. I don't matter. If well, I mean, if you want to take it to the dark spot like Randall does all the time, sure. I'm a ghost. That's my theory. I you told you, 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 you just sit there, Randall, and tell me you don't go negative. I spit facts. No, okay, you know, you spit I spit depression. facts. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Hey, just because it's, it might be negative doesn't mean it ain't true. No. You no, don't have, you're no, skewed. You... Your vision is skewed for everything. Okay. <laughs> Kelsey. Let's watch Kidnapped. <laughs> what about the Whopper? Yep. 
<laughs> what, 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 what about the Whopper? You drop question mark, and then in all caps, what about the Whopper? Well, Everybody Randall? in your room right now, just just applaud him because that was goat material right there. This man came in twice. He double tapped. He wrote it in caps so you don't forget it. So you couldn't <laughs> duck that one. You can't duck those shots if they're in caps, Randall. Oh, shit. Yeah, we got to keep it moving. It's already been almost an hour and we still haven't talked about oh, God yeah, of War yet. Yeah. All right, so la- last thing about Castlevania. Voices, immaculate. Voice acting, immaculate. Yeah, the voice acting was, yep. So, basically, to the point, we saw Castlevania in like one sitting. You can too. It's on Netflix. After this show, go and fucking watch Castlevania. I, I don't unless you have like a thing against gory uh, animes or something that like challenges your religion or something like that. Like just fucking watch it. <sighs> Randall, you have a fam. <laughs> Javi in the chat says Randall's my favorite character. I'm gonna make a a hate Kelsey blog. <laughs> <laughs> you get fans out here, Randall. Season two no, drop. Season two didn't drop yet. Next month. Uh, season- uh, October 26th, I figure up on the thing. Uh, Metal Bunny says, Dante's Inferno animated show is a lot like Castlevania. I have to watch it. It's good? Okay. If I've done, is it, if it's, it depends on the length. Because now you're going, you're telling me to watch something after I watch Castlevania, and that shit, I'm going to be comparing. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm going to be comparing it to that. Um... <clears throat> All right. What's next? All right, cool. Next thing. Oh, Eminem's album. Did you hear it yet, Randall? No? Okay. Well, um... I gotta look up what I rated a bunch of these tracks. Just a refresher. I mean, I'm using Spotify, and I can tell you how many songs I gave a heart next to. All right, go ahead and start talking about them, guys. All right, so... Oh, 45 shit, minutes, man. you know, there's 13 songs. Two of them are skits, so there's 11 songs. And out of 11 songs, I hearted four of them. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. The thing about this album, and I can't say I hated it, but I, all right. So to, to what was say if you do say something before to preface this, right? Mm-hmm. I never thought Eminem's an album artist. He has singles that he puts out, but albums usually are disappointments to me for him. That's why I okay. skipped the whole last album. I'm not trying to sit there. So I listen to this album. And this whole album was basically, I, I don't think it's going to last past a month. People are going to forget about it next month. Because this isn't an album where it's like a body of music that ages. It's just, hey, I'm mad you didn't like my other album. Let me try to rap over the way you guys are doing it and tell you how angry I am. So he's kind of doing the same thing Nicki Minaj did with uh, Travis Scott. Let me pout and let me just throw names out there. This whole album is just, let me shoot shots at people that I didn't, I wouldn't have shot shots at unless my last album flopped, just to get the attention. Yeah, a lot of this. This I can agree with that. This, a lot of the lyrics is this. Hey, I'm just gonna call out people. I'm here to just. I mean, some of it's funny. Like I'm not gonna like the lot. Some of the shit is actually funny with the, the the lines he writes, but most of it it's it's hey, it, this looks like a diss album, so it's yeah. only gonna stay relevant for. X amount of time so nobody gives a shit about any of this beef uh, even if it, if it is beef or not but they're gonna be like oh I remember when Eminem dropped an entire album dissing everybody and that was someone retaliates like, too and that'll be just back to back did retaliate already oh who? really who uh, Machine Gun Kelly and it was actually decent oh I, have and to, I haven't heard it I just saw after I heard the album Joe Budden responded cause he was with mentioned a, with a track name. No, no, no. On his podcast. He spent an hour and a half talking directly at Eminem. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, and I then gotta... he said, because he's in retirement, and he always said that there's only one person making come out of retirement to rap. Uh-huh. And he said that his diss to him was so such trash that if he wants him to respond, because he's been saying in this decade, he's way better than Eminem. Uh-huh. He's saying that uh, for him to respond, he's going to go out of his way and make a diss track that's not part of his press run. Mm, got it. He, he went. He said a lot more than that, but it's an hour and a half of content. I, I'll post it in the Discord and music in case one of you wants to look at it. That's cool. But yeah, besides that, this isn't even an album where he's like, "Let me put out good music." It's just literally, "Let me show you guys I can rap," as if he hasn't been like a a legend showing that he can rap. So this whole album, forgettable. I'm gonna. I don't even. I don't think I'll play any songs on this album ever again, because wow. there's no replay value. There's no replay. It says, "Hey, let me diss this guy." 
It's not Enough. something you'd. It's not even like a disc you can listen to over and over again. Like when Story of Added On came out, I think for a week I was listening to it every day. Just because it's it's a solid song by itself. This is literally like if you want to put this album on a portfolio, like look, I can still rap. I can rhyme a lot of words fast. Right. It's no content. Uh, well, for me, I do. I can still listen to The Ringer over and over again. Because Ringer just has like a solid hip hop beat and he's just spitting bars. So I can definitely listen to The Ringer, which is the first track on there. The one with Royce the Five Nine, not a like. I thought that was fine too. I can re listen to that. And then the other one was Fall. Those are the three that I can probably just. Uh, I can have those. The four songs I liked were The Ringer, <clears throat> uh, Lucky You, Madonna Joyner Lucas in it, mm -hmm. Normal, and Fall. And I can honestly tell you, I don't even remember how most of the songs go. Yeah, I, like if you like, ask me a question, I'd be like, no, I have to listen to it again. I mean, yeah. it's only, I only listened to it like the album once, one one go. Yeah, yeah, I only heard it once before I was going to stream, and I was like, no, nah, let me do something else. I don't feel like streaming. <laughs> That's the short end of it. Like, give it a listen to it. I mean, it's not, it's just not like his past work. It's I've like never liked his albums, so that's why I don't. Oh my God, my eyes. This less, all right. This like this as an album more so than any of the other ones because it's literally, it's it's a waste of time. It's not even an album. It's just let me pout for forty five minutes. Javi in the chat says, "I hate that the ringer always starts with an explosion." Yeah, I agree. He needs to he needs to never do choruses. Yes, the song in... right after that, the second song, what is it? <sighs> Greatest. Yeah, I was going in. I was like, I like it. Then mm -hmm. I heard the chorus. Who 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 heard them? Like, yeah, you can do this. Who did that? He's one of the, one of the artists that he's just not allowed to do. His, like, well, he's one of the rappers that should not be doing his choruses. I don't I don't know who who hears this and says, no, this is straight. I, I guarantee the same person who greenlit his choruses designed Falk Super in Street Fighter Five. <laughs> Jeez. They probably thought Hereditary was a pretty solid movie. Wow. Yeah, right, right. Oh my god, Hereditary. Fucking dude. trash. All right, let's get this. Let's, let's keep it moving, people. All right, this is going to be your one and only warning. Me, we all here finish God of War single player, the main story. We will be spoiling the shit out of it. If you do not, I repeat, do not want to hear spoilers for God of War single player. I mean, that's it's always single player. Main story. Leave <laughs> and come back later. You can watch it on you're unless you're watching this on YouTube right now, just pause it. Go play God of War, unpause it. Or like come back later, because th this this is I'm gonna give you guys ten seconds to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay. Starting now. So how how's, how's it going, Randall? You getting hyped? Yo, he's already smiling. He can't stop thinking about God of War, dude. Cause man, that game was amazing. I believe. Game of the year. All right, that's it. We're in full fucking spoiler territory. Let's fucking rip into this shit. Where do you guys want to start? This Where man's name is Loki the whole fucking time. For real, dude. <laughs> Are you I shitting me? On that scene, and he said it. I took my headphones off and made sure they were plugged in. I was like, "This is wrong with this." <laughs> yeah. I, when, he, when I said it, I had to back away from my screen. I dropped my controller when he said it. He's like, yeah, I said Loki. And I'm like, oh, as, soon as, as soon as Anthony got to Jotunheim, I was just looking at him to make, to, just to see his reaction. Yeah. Oh, my same, Lord. The same thing kind of happened with my eyes when the, the last panel of, like, the... For, the yeah, same here. With the, the last vision, story, I guess. The last vision, yeah. When it, when the little the red thing goes up and you see Kratos just laying there and, and hey, his yeah, son's holding why him. it looked like it was something coming out of his mouth it did it did look like all I can think I of think, maybe is his powers or his or his his life force or well, no I but it was it coming is. out it was coming out of Atreus's mouth it was coming out of both of them it was yeah what I think it is I don't know if it's gonna be like him getting hurt or Atreus getting hurt but I think it's uh, Freya coming back to kill him. That's what I think it is, because I mean she. Because it looks like a vine. Because like she didn't hesitate a second before she just started threatening every fucking being. 
Adam Kelsey in the chat. What Atreus is in this game? Spoils forever. Okay. I, I thought he was gonna say. I thought he. I thought he wrote Atreus is Loki. Spoils forever. I was gonna walk to his house <laughs> and be like, "Are you deaf?" <laughs> I said, "Leave." <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, him. The the hip. The the. Okay. Let's before we talk about him dying, the fucking Thor teaser. Yeah. That got me hype. I was waiting for fucking Chris Hemsworth's face or his voice to come up. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Please. You killed my brother. First of all. <laughs> or my first son. First of all, first of all, let's get something straight. Uh-huh. The God of War Thor uh-huh. would destroy Chris Hemsworth. MCU Randall, Thor. Randall, you have yet to see that Thor do anything. That's also true. You, what? Are oh, you seeing his fireworks out of his hand? You have did you not hear what he did to the world serpent? You heard Do you remember in the Lord? Shit. Randall. No, no, no. He one shot at the world serpent so hard that he sent him back in time. One shot it. But the world serpent's still alive. Do you see how big that snake is? It don't matter, Randall. I mean it's hard oh, for him to dodge. Right. That doesn't okay. mean it's hard for him to oh, dodge. Okay. Clearly. That you hit somebody, you, hit, you so. hit somebody one time and they go back in time. Are you but serious? But did he die? But did he, he die though? But did he die? He helped him. He's younger now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Chris Hemsworth throws axes at you. I mean, he doesn't go for the head. That's I mean, that's the one flaw. But he throws axes at people. No, he's, okay. he's not on par. No way near close. He would get wrecked. So the question is, do you think that's going to be DLC, or do you think that's the next? I think game? it's DLC. Really? I, I'm I think there's going to be story. two or three DLCs for this game. Yeah, I, I would. I see this as a DLC because because he's at your front door. What but he do, but he, remember when you leave the house? Um, Atreus says it was a dream. He felt it felt like a dream. It felt like a dream, and then um, Kratos confirmed that it was a dream, and he was like, "But it felt real." That's just no. That's just Kratos being a dad saying, "Don't worry about it. We'll handle it Randall, when we get there." This okay, if game, that happened, Randall, 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 relax. This whole game is a prophecy, and clearly everything happens to the T. Why would they put this in and say no? It doesn't mean anything when the whole game's been prophesized. The last like five fucking not five minutes, like the last two minutes. It's it's. Every, we're all looking at a wall that Fre- Faye? Frey? Frey. Uh, Frey. Lo- Lo- Faye. That's her whole name. Lo- Faye wrote Lo- down Faye what like she has the reads years ago. Yeah. She had the most reads. You cannot play her in a fighting game. Because the, sec- the second it says fight, you're, she's already hitting exactly what she needs to hit, no matter what all you right, think so, you're Okay, hit. so the question is can Kratos beat him? We don't know. We don't know if that's who kills him. Because if he's able to punch some guy back in time, that black stuff that's coming out of his mouth could be from Thor. I don't think what's following is going to be a separate game because there's not much left. There's, yeah, like, uh, there's Thor as a threat and there's Odin as a threat. And well, they still have... No, th- there's, there's, Fre- there's Freya, Thor, and Odin. Uh, those three, yeah. And there's three realms left. Either they make every realm you go to where you end up fighting one of them a whole DLC or they lump all that shit and make one major story expansion like the way The Witcher would or the CD I, Project Red would. Yeah. I think and what I'm hoping is that it's going to be in the next God of War. And that mm-hmm. he's what's probably going to happen is he's going to have a run in with Thor. The initial fight he's probably going to get wrecked. And then it's you're going to have to build up again. And he's probably going to face Mm-mm. Thor again. But the main antagonist is probably not going to be Thor. It's probably going to be Odin. I, I really doubt they're going to do that. Because they, yeah. they literally did that the whole trilogy beforehand. They start the game with, hey, Kratos is doing something. Oh, God wronged him. He's dead. Back to hell. Just to climb all the way up to fight him. Oh, he dies again. Back to hell. Go all the way up to fight them. Yeah, the, 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 the thing is... Really, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? They, I don't want him to do that because that leaves a lot of room for filler or people that we just don't care about. In this, Throughout this journey, we only met uh, like five people. The thing mm-hmm. that, so to have another game to, to throw another set of people at us. The like, thing that worries like, me is that if they do an expansion DLC or whatever, I feel like it's not going to be, it's not going to, for the amount of content that they would have to put in there, I don't feel like it's going to justify 
how short it's going to be. Because they got a lot of content they need to put just to they don't need tell to the put, story. Yeah. Look at Last of Us with their their DLC. Plenty of story content in it. Not that long. And it's only like in, like two hours. It's Maybe quality. That's just me not it's you. It it's you just short. want to keep playing, right? Yeah. You just want to keep playing. Oh, you just want to live Kratos' life. That's what you want to do. We don't need that. Like we know who are the the three bad guys. What do you mean need. we don't need that? We, we don't do need that. No, man. we don't. That's yeah. To be the other reason why I think they're not gonna make this a separate game is just because if they make a second one, they've been grooming Atreus this whole game to be his own person. Yeah. You choose what kind of god you're gonna be. He says, "Never forget this." They're always saying, "Never forget this," or you choose. You you decide. Yeah. You're gonna grow yeah, up. But, you know who okay, he is. so what are they gonna call that then? He might God pass the mantle too. on. He might be the <laughs> oh, next. Oh no, man! Uh-uh. If you get another God of War game, it's gonna be the it's gonna be the trade off. Just like Last of Us, they're treating it off for Ellie to be the main character. It's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be God. It's gonna be Kratos passing the mantle the same way. Uh, and you're okay with it. The same way. I'm, I mean, if they have a compel, they took the time. This this game. If they do, if they don't give that much attention to character, let's get it. Because he's gonna be Loki. It's- which means he's going to be using dialogue yeah. options. So if they're saying you choose, you choose, we're going to be tricking people mm-hmm. or manipulating them with with Loki's fucking wits. And with that idea alone, that further backs my idea that they're going to make whatever happens DLC with Odin or Thor, because Kratos has to die. Yeah, and when good. he dies, I think whoever kills him is clearly stronger than Atreus. Yeah. So at that point, <laughs> At that point, it's going to be the same thing that happened with, with Kratos in the trilogy, where he gets bodied by someone who clearly sunned him, like his actual dad, and then he comes back the next game. Well, this time, no more coming back for Kratos. He even mentioned before they got to Jotunheim, let's go before I lose my strength. Yeah. He's not going to be here forever. There's a lot of stuff in that game that they say or show on purpose. Mm-hmm. He's I'm saying okay never for he's that. teaching him so many things about being a man and then saying stuff like his strength. You see how long it takes way longer for him to recover from any other fights like with Balder or even yeah. against the guy in, in Helheim. Boy's getting older and he needs to pass on everything before he before he dies so that his son doesn't become him. Yeah. I agree with that. So you kill him off with the DLCs. I think That's maybe sad. there's gonna be two or three. And then God of War two, you're Loki. John says, son of dad of war. That is sad, man. <laughs> what? And I don't know said, if I could play that. So little baby Loki has to kill Thor is what you're saying? No, because the prophecy, he's both, he's there. Like, it's the video you you see, they, he's at his house. The same way Boulder appears at his house, Thor's there. So they're, they're, they're about to fight him, kid of war. The thing he's, about that scene, it's because I didn't see that scene the same day as you guys were because i wanted you guys to see it mm-hmm. it was like the d- next day or the day after i was like you know what let me try to get the platinum oh i haven't been home in a while let me see if there's something new there i can re- interact with my bed loud thunder and yelling and house breaking i was like what the fuck is going on who's that and then he showed that thing on him then i saw that hammer i was like oh my god yeah, <laughs> and then dude. it ends yeah the, th- had nobody the hammer to looks better me. in person than it did in the statues yeah, yeah, it looks a lot better. Oh my, just spinning them is so exciting. And I man. thought that it was really small when I first saw it, but then because I was clearly geeking out over this, I went on YouTube and I'm sitting here hitting the space bar mad times until like when the lightning strikes, uh-huh. you can see him clearly. Yeah, and that junk is huge. It's like it's like if you would if you were Thor, it's like this. You mean big. because I am Thor? Whatever. Then... It's like this big. Uh huh. That junk. It, it, it was hard, man. He had that thing on him. I done told you. Fuck. He didn't say anything the whole time. He was just standing there. Because he, he knows. Goes, that's how. That's what I'm saying. It's how Because we know what happened. We killed both of his sons. But why? This is what I don't understand. Okay, here's this. You have a reputation. It precedes you are known for being a force to be reckoned with, right? You're like destroying everything you, you come in contact with that fights you. Who are you talking about? We're talking about Thor. Okay. All right. You have two kids. Both of them get destroyed by said person. Mm-hmm. Why would you wait years to go to that person's house and be like, I got beef with you because of X, Y, Z? Because remember yeah. when you go in the house, yeah, it says they go to sleep later. and it says years later. Yeah. So I, I don't understand it. Then maybe well, he has other... He's probably, remember, Freya is still a god. 
So she might be working for him. Because now she has motive. But I'm, I'm just saying, why did it take so long for him to show up at his doorstep? Because he might have sent other people at this point. The whole game, we don't know what he's doing. Because so yeah, we're just assuming like he's sitting is, there just banging everybody. And which he probably is. We just don't know what. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that gets that gets mentioned or expanded on. But we don't we don't know what he's been doing. But we don't know how much he actually cares about his kids. Because remember, after you kill the first one, and the second one goes back to the dad, and he comes back beating the fuck up. Yeah, he, says he that cares a lot. Called him. Yeah, go ahead. He Brian, beat up. Right. He beat up his son because he even said to himself, "My, uh, that his dad considered him a coward and thought it was his fault. His brother's dead." Yeah, he he cares a lot about Magni. That I do know. Is that the oh. first or second one? Magni is the first big one. one. The, the one, one that died. Yeah, the first one that, the first that one died. died. Modi is the um, the short one that he beat the crap out of. Mm-hmm. They have two different mothers. Oh, okay. So the one that, the biggest one uh-huh. was the one that Thor actually cared about, which is why when he fi- found out that he left them to die, he pretty he much killed him, him or yeah. beat him to to within inches of his life. Uh-huh. That's crazy. So I'm guessing the reason why he really if he's there because of that, is because Magni died. We also don't care, know. Care less that Modi is dead. Most likely. We also don't know if he's any way injured from the fight with the World Serpent. I thought that was years ago. I don't know how how things progress, and I'm not a god. I'm a god, but not this kind of god. <laughs> <laughs> what was I gonna say? All right, was okay. I gotta say this now because. By that third fucking fight, I don't give a shit about Boulder. I stopped caring about him after really? he left my house. In terms of mechanically playing him, I'm like, can I stop fighting him? I got tired of fighting him. Don't, don't get me wrong, the set pieces were cool, fighting him on top of a dragon, or not dragon, was it a dragon? Yeah. yeah. It was a dragon. I mean, he has some, the first fight, I'm like, holy shit, that, that was like a fucking Dragon Ball Z fight. Yeah. And the second one, I'm like, okay. And by the third one, I'm like, can we, can we go on, like... It's the same guy throughout the whole fucking game. Like, the only thing I wanted or that I thought was gonna come of him was you killed X Y X person and he's like revered among the gods and he was like the catalyst as to why they're gonna chase you and beat the fuck out of you. But then he came back again. I was like, all right. And then the third time, I'm like, fuck. Like I didn't want him. I didn't want to see him again after the first time. Yeah, like, I, I, as a character, I'm like, okay, I understand. Because his relationship with his mother, uh, Freya, I'm like, oh, I'm digging all that shit. And then you find more in Helheim what the relationship is. Like, he, she stole in the, I Well, I mean, also Odin, because Odin's his father, so, and Odin sent him to... And that too, but, like, after a while, I'm like, come on, like... <clears throat> like, you imagine how crazy it would have been, too? I mean, obviously, that they will rework most of the plot... But imagine you actually killed him that first fight, and you find out who Freya is, and you find out she helps your son. Oh and after you God. go to after you go to Helheim and you see that vision, you realize you just slaughtered her son when she helped she helped you save yours. Yeah, that would have been yeah that would been more powerful actually. But the only thing about that is, if that were the case, there would have been nobody to destroy the the bridge that was on top of the summit to go to yeah. Jotunheim. Yeah, so they need and, to find some way for that. Yeah, and also unless yeah. it was her, unless somehow she found out what she did. And she showed up here. That wouldn't make sense though, because she was always looking for him, so she would have yeah. known. Unless he, his body, yeah, like she just found the body. But then at that point, she wouldn't know it was him. Why wouldn't she? She knows what he looks like, but she doesn't know that he she that he killed her. Because you don't no. be afraid to later on. Well, you so never if, know. She knows how to do crazy stuff. She probably could find out something like that. Who's responsible for her son's death? And I was, I'm gonna go back to like everything they. Sh- this is, this is you can I don't know let me I'm getting excited again because this entire movie movie is it's all a one shot right so mm-hmm. they make they give they make a point to show what you need to to see and like show what you need to see and and hear what you need to hear when she threw away Atreus's fucking arrows mm-hmm. only to come back around and be like those were the arrows to fucking defeat him I'm like really. And it made him sound like, oh, that's right, because every time I fought him, the kid wasn't there. Yeah. Because if he was there, I would have shot, shot that yeah. arrow. With, yeah. Especially, he shot him like three times in the chest and then one in the mouth yeah. when they were at um, Jotunheim Bridge. Yep. That, that would have been, been it for him. Would've, he would have been dead. 
Yeah. Dead as dead can I'm fucking sorry. be. Oh, Javi says by the second one, I was like, all right, this is the exactly the same. Yeah, like after, yeah. like it just felt. I don't know. Like it, was, it, it wasn't. It wasn't wasting time because the set pieces were cool and they looked great. But yeah, but you were fighting on top of the dragon. It's just you like that's the set piece part. The part before it, when you, where he's just doing his fucking zip zap, like that got fucking boring. And then the mm-hmm. only thing they added was, oh, now he's ice, so you gotta use your your your, your fucking chaos blades. Oh, but now he's oh, fire, he's fire so you gotta use yeah. your act. Like that's that's that now. I didn't care for really? that shit. Like, like that's not. That's another thing. The fighting in the game. I mean, I'm playing on the easiest difficulty, mind you. So that yeah. got super boring for me. Okay, yep. let's stop right just now. Just watching it, just watching that shit was fucking annoying. No. He looked at one guy, and then everybody exploded. I'm like, how? Like, I understand you went through hell and back, Randall. But this is why I'm gonna be a. I'm gonna champion this right now. We need to get rid of difficulty levels. Design your game so it progressively gets harder in a very natural way. Because. <sighs> <clears throat> that's the whole point of the normal difficulty they i think they make normal first and then for the difficulty they just scale it up or scale it down for the other then ones. remove every other difficulty and leave normal like i don't give me the option to make it worse for myself you know what I'm saying? i think i think having it worse for yourself um at least for me personally makes you more invested in the character because you feel like you're going through these struggles well it's not just like okay i'm super powerful let me just swing my action and all these people die it's more like I really need to be smart with my resources. I need to really plan of an attack you know, and stuff like that. It feel, it makes you feel more attached to the character because you can't just run up and slay a bunch of people. You got to be like, okay, I need to take care of him because his health is really low. But I got these two other guys over here. And then I got to make sure that I get my son involved and all this stuff like that. And I can't let him get attacked because if he gets hit on the ground, then he can't help me. I understand that, but that's proper design. If If, if they design every encounter in a certain way because this is an open world game it's just a regular it's very linear with you mm-hmm. you base it's it's a hub that's said to down linear paths so it's not an open world game it's not like gta where i can just drive off in any fucking direction at any time it's hey we're going straight straight and then a little hub that takes you into more linear 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 places each time just like uh, uh i think i started four started doing that yeah but that, no, they like, did it for like very small segments. They did less than this game did. Oh well, like you you know when they're gonna encounter the people. You know what to place. You know what type of enemies. So design it around the fact that you know what like how how difficult it's gonna be. Like that's what playtesting's for. I'm not saying it was fucking boring. I just said after a while I'm like okay, it became. It became like I was. It just started feeling like I was playing Last of Us or Uncharted, where it's like, okay, I'm just doing, getting, get, I'm just getting through this so I can get to the next story bit. Because at that point, the story was more important to me or more exci- exciting for me than. After all my battles, man, I was like, <sighs> especially when Chris, like when Chris were like, it's done. <laughs> I felt that I was like, yeah, it's over. Finally. Yeah, like, thank God he's crying. <laughs> fucking. That was oh, me with the fucking Valkyries. Oh my god! <laughs> Have you? You haven't even this? fought like the I the one fun. that like. There's two that almost made me like change religions looking for an answer. Oh my god! Jeez. Oh, so they have different um, behaviors Abilities, and yes. patterns. Okay, they're, that's yes. good. Different, I was really worried yeah, that 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 was they're all the same. That would, that would piss me off. And they get no, they worse. different moves. What do you mean by worse? I don't know if you. I, mean, I was gonna say something, but I don't know if you guys consider this spoiler, so I won't say anything. Oh, where are we doing spoiler? Are we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like for you guys, so you don't care. I can just say anything right now, and you don't care. Anything, because the only thing I give a shit about was the journey, and I finished my. The only thing I wanted to do was spread. I was to say my mother. Oh my god, I'll spread Atreus's mother ashes at the summit. All right, and I did that right. already. All right, so Randall, you know how each one of the Valkyries, all the eight, will have like a different moves and mm-hmm. behaviors. Yeah. So you grab their helmets. And you put them on like the, I forget what it's called, Court of Valkyries. Yeah. And then a portal spawns, right? Yeah. Like one of those tears. So you try to reach into it. The second you do, the the Queen of Valkyries comes out and face smushes you into a wall. And then the fight starts. Now, this Valkyrie has every move that all the other ones had. Combined. Oh, so it's, oh shit. So it's like I haven't a... got to her yet. Yeah, that's all I have to say. So she has everybody's moves? Anything you saw in any other Valkyrie, she can do. 
back to back if she wants. Wow. Qu oh, please tell me you only fight in her. What do you mean? Yeah, no, you don't fight all the Valkyries at once. It's just her. No, 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 no. You know how like the other Valkyries have minions that, that pop up sometimes? Oh, that never happened for me. Again, but then again, let's preface this with Brian playing at normal difficulty level. Because we don't know what the difficulty level, if they add more um, enemy spawning, or if they don't, if they take away. I don't know the extent when of what the difficulty is. Uh, whenever I fought any of the Valkyries, it was just 1v1. Hmm. Oh my See, gosh. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand, man. You don't understand. There was times where I like, understand she why they are put is they're they're put as the number one soldiers to protect Odin. I understand. Odin. Now you know what? Yes. <laughs> because yo, anybody who gets past them, Odin deserves to die. <laughs> he had it coming. Yes. The the the, the you, amount of fucking rage that's coming through that that warrior. Yeah. When you get to the queen, I've never been so mixed up that I want to message everybody that's played my sixteen or Zangief and say sorry. <laughs> She did like five unblockables back to back. I'm like, what the fuck? Jeez. Oh my god. What other story bits we were talking about here? Like it starts ramping up near the end, man. We pretty much talked about most of it. The yeah, his kid dying and Freya just straight up telling us, "You're dead." Mm -hmm. I'm surprised she said, there, "There's no realm your soul can hide from me." Yep. I was like, jeez. I mean, we did kill her fucking our... only son, yeah. so... She, she said she was going to display our corpse in every room, but I'm like, bitch, you can't even leave Midgard. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure she's going to... That's where I think Thor comes in, or Odin. She's like, oh, okay, since we have common enemy now, let's help each other out a bit. And I think that's where it's going to start. It's going to start. The alliance. Now I just want a DLC of the. Few, I want to play as I. I want to see what Atreus becomes, as a grown man. Like this God against... of War too, dude. Oh my God, oh, man. No, man! The only DLC I see two actually. One of them is the major, like the ending to Kratos' story. Like you do all this and then, dead. And then the second <laughs> one is a prequel where you play as a uh, Fey. Okay, I'd play as Fey because he's supposed because to be a badass. He... Because Kratos vouches for how much of a badass she was when she was fighting. Now and if that, he says that, that means clearly she won Evo. That, I want to see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, that and would be DLC that, I play. And with that, you can kind of see like the the decimation of the rest of the giants. And you can meet characters that they speak highly of, but you never they aren't around. Like you could yeah. probably meet Tyr, you know? That's true. Because Tyr was you a can cool meet, character. You can meet Mimir with a whole body. That's true. Can we talk about Mimir real quick? That's my that's my goat, bro. Mimir is very that's a very a, a great um comic relief. Uh, I don't I don't know if he, I would say a deep character because we don't get much information on him besides how Odin wrecks his asshole in every day, not literally. I mean like tortures him in creative ways. That was the quickest switch in emotional moment or like the mm -hmm. quickest switch in tone I've ever seen. He was talking joking, about like. Joking. Huh? Well, he's joking, joking, and then he's like, uh, he tortures me just for like just for the fun of it. He's yeah. better off being dead. I was like, what the fuck's he doing here? Yeah, like, god damn, dude. He's my favorite character. Character, nope. though. The one thing I didn't like about that is like, oh, I need my other eye to do this fucking uh, part. I'm like, god damn it. There's some parts that near the end, I'm like, I don't need this fetch quest right now, dude. I'm I'm literally I'm right there. When I went inside the uh, the world serpent's, world serpent's mouth, I got little. You got goosebumps. Yeah, man. What do you think was gonna happen? Like he's gonna forget because on my in? screen it's like huge. Everything is huge. So oh, it's like, right, right, right. So yeah. You oh my god. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, that I makes didn't sense. Care about the world serpent part because it reminded me of being in Monstro and Kingdom Hearts, and I hated that area. So I was just trying to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> I think that section was there. That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of the, the last part of the like, it was like quick. It was like, hey, go do this, go do this, go do this, and there was like no fights. I felt like they did all that just because they only had one fight planned, which was the Balder one, and they had enough space to probably do another fight, but they didn't have any characters to like risk killing off right there. Yeah. Right. Oh, at the end of the game, 
when they leave Mimir on the floor, like after you come back and they said they're doing measurements, I feel like they're going to give him a metal body. Yes, I, that's what I wanted to talk about. Because he's like, that's the first thing he mentioned. Like, yeah, they were they were here. He's like, what's the dwarves? And he's like, yeah, they were doing uh, like uncomfortable measurements or something. I'm like, the boy's going to get a fucking body. I hope. Can you imagine him as an assist? As a mech? Come on, dude. That's cool. Game of the year. So yeah, like I I I, I play this one. I don't know if it's the game of the year yet. So you think like if you if you play as uh, Atreus in an expansion, that he's probably going to be the one that's assisting. Mm-hmm. That would be yeah. That could be. I mean, they they've have yet so to many speak. like variables as to what would carry over if Atreus becomes a person. Because think about it, you slaughtered Thor's kids. And I'm assuming he knows that Brock and Sindri are helping you make your weapon. Yeah. You already have Mjolnir. Well, what need do you have of them, right? He can just slaughter them if he wanted to. Yeah. Same thing with Mimir. Like, it's just a reanimated head. If he finds out he was helping them, just throw him in a lake somewhere. There's well, so I mean, many, like, but outliers. He can't drown. Yeah, but he can't come back. He's ahead. But um, the dwarves will be fine because, remember, they can jump between realms. That's how they stay hidden. I think I that just find some way around that. Hellheim. Remember? What happened? I said that joke was funny when he was in Hellheim. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he just comes off and he's like, he's like, here. And he hey, comes yo, out let me get those blades. I got something special for you. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> oh, like, what the fuck? What'd he's you like, do? I gotta go back to uh, Midgard and blah, blah, blah. Here you go. <laughs> fuck it. So they just jump uh, rounds like that. We got when we jump rounds, we got to sit there and wait for the tree to load up and then beam and all that stuff. It just That's takes the so biggest long. plot hole to me. What? Kratos, how did he get there? He didn't have the Unity Stone. How the fuck did he get there? Get where? Get to a uh, Midgard. To, to this land. Oh yeah, that, that's a good question. They never yeah, explain yeah. it. It's just they say all this stuff because Tyr did it. Unless Kratos is tier, and we, we don't know him. There's no way. But how's, how well, they're both t- gods of war. According oh, that's to true. Except one wanted peace, and the other one fought for revenge. They're mirrored. Um, I don't know. Maybe in a, I, I, I never caught anything saying how he got there. So It just yeah, keeps saying that he's from a faraway land. So I don't know what that means. And the first word he said when the game starts is boy, so they don't really explain that at all. <laughs> boy. They give Man, some he's... Amir backstory, though. Like you were mentioning before, if you just sit in the boat long enough, you start talking about what he used to do before he was tortured. Yeah. Uh... He started off as like a like a jester, like a like a Sona entertain the king. I don't remember who it was back then. I think it was for a fairy king. Okay. And then... uh. He just kept him and some other guy just kept fucking around and doing stuff. But since the king was amused, he never like punished them. Then after that, something happened and got serious. And he had to get the hell out of there and go to go to Odin. Gotcha. And he he convinced Odin like that he was a uh, he can show him prophecies by combining a bunch of shrooms into the water and telling Odin to put his face in it. What so Odin fuck? saw a bunch of stuff just because he's really high without knowing. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, let's go, dude. I don't know if there's anything else to talk about on the. I guess another just kudos to the, the fucking 180 turn on char- on Kratos as a character. Mm-hmm. Like my god, he came from fucking. I'm angry at you. To I'm even more angry at you. To like, you can't believe how angry I am. And then now he's fucking. I touched my kid. I wish they yeah. had to explain how he even got there. Though. Yeah, that's what Brian was saying. Like I, mm-hmm. I don't. Maybe in the DLC if they have it, or maybe if we ever get a chance to speak to one of the because developers. In the last one, he killed them. Though. Yeah, but I, unless they retcon on that, like we don't know. I, I have to look it up and do some homework. I guess to see. Yeah, and, and God of War three, he killed himself. And then he's just here in God of War. <laughs> Unless, like nothing happened. Yeah, I... they can do that with if the the Freya DLC. I'm saying it would actually be a thing, because they can end it at the time she meets Kratos. Maybe she's the one that saved him. Maybe she found him or something like that. 
Well, he no, like they show him completely die in three. Like he puts the sort of Olympus in him, and then done. But I mean, he 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 puts the sword through him, and then he falls off a cliff. So no, that's she... a, that's not that game. You're thinking of the wrong game. In God of War one or two, he jumps off a cliff. In God of War three, you see him just kill himself right there. He do, he doesn't fall off or something after that. After the credits in three, you see him crawling away or something. Something indicating he's alive. Okay. Oh, that's Adam that Kelsey part. with the fucking journal journalism right there, dude. Good shit. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't remember. So I've seen that after the credits. So then that, that might be impaling. That might himself. be your answer. But yeah, did, um, what else? The Kratos return around is fantastic. The the uh, bond between him and his kid. All of it was yeah. yeah. The characters were great. Dialogue was fantastic. They I'm all had their moments. Kept, like the cast small. Yeah, like like we. How many characters was this in total? The two dwarves, like five. these two. For, yeah, like maybe five, six. No, if you see, it's 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 a uh, Kratos Atreus. I don't know the if dwarves. you count Faye because we didn't do anything but burn her. Yeah, I mean she's a character in spirit, I guess, but I wouldn't count her Sorry. as. So that all right? So just them two, Mimir, the Freya. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the two dwarves. That's, that's six. six already. Yeah. Okay, so there's a lot uh, more than that. Dwarves. Balder. Yeah. Thor. And the dwarves sons. If you count that, and so then the two nine. sons. That's like ten, I think, around there. But yeah, but they all. Have, I mean, the, the 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 Thor sons didn't have much of a spotlight besides, hey, we gotta kill you, or take you. But Boulder had his had he had a spotlight. Yeah, I thought it was great. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's um, much at the last fight, that part where um, Kratos and Atreus is is beating the crap out of him at the same Oh, time. that was fucking badass. That yeah. was that was really cool, especially like when um they were hanging off. And he's he's holding the trays his foot. Yeah. And then he's holding the boulders. And then he throws them in the air and then he spins and the shoes so with the, oh my god. It was dope. Was it was some good choreo some uh, good fighting choreography there. There was a part when you're already on the land, like after that, on the last fight, where a trace had the cleanest fucking roundhouse. I thought he was a cigar man. <laughs> yeah, you talking about when he were both hitting him? Yeah, that's what and then the last yeah. hit was like a kick. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, that's my guy right there, dude. No, like that's your was son right there, bro. Yeah. Like you, you could see as it progressed, mm-hmm. as he got better, and mm-hmm. then by the end, he was like, he was really putting in work. Like, yeah, the, the the most interesting now is to me. I want to see what the rest of uh, Trace's story is. Like I'm, I'm set with God, with with Kratos. Like he made his yeah, redemption. I'm good with where, where Kratos is at right now. That's the other tale that he dies and it becomes God of War about Atreus. Because when they see the panels, and, and it's like, oh, this is our story. And then Kratos corrects him, like, this is your story. Mm-hmm. So he's going to fin a rip. Right? Yeah, I, I think, <laughs> and then yeah, the rest it, of the series is Atreus. It's a matter of when. I don't think his death would be DLC. So if he's going to die, it's going to be in, if they make another game. No, no. DLC. I don't think they should kill him at all. Un- unless, unless... They they tell the game's story the way I'm thinking they're going to tell the story for Last of Us 2. Where you're playing present day, but they tell story through flashbacks or just like world talk. The so same way I'm like thinking. Kratos it, is already dead? Yeah, Kratos is already dead, but the time between that and when the, your playable story takes place is uh, flashbacks, if that makes sense. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. So unless they do it that same way, which I think they're going to do. If they do that for Last of Us, give me your wallet, Randall. Like this is the final. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the the only game left that's gonna really like fill that that void for me. What game? The Last of Us. Still. Oh, and you're probably not gonna. Here's what I'm thinking: if there is DLC for God of War, we'll see it at PSX. And when is that? That's near the end of the year, right? December. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because Capcom Cup's always attached to the. Yeah, so it, if if there is no if there is gonna be a DLC for this, I don't think it's gonna be any later than that. I think it is because when they mentioned when they were asked about DLC, they didn't say no. They just said we're not talking about the or we haven't even started planning DLC because we don't want you guys to feel like we're selling part of the main game afterwards. Yeah, I remember that that interview. 
So yeah, if they, if I'm sure they had a lot of pl- a lot of time to plan. So if we don't, maybe a teaser. But I don't know about full game. We don't. You don't want to see gameplay anyways. This is the same game with more content, so it'll probably be like a cutscene or something. I just want them to be like his DLC, a date. They give a wink at the camera. They walk off. <laughs> a wink at the camera. That's all I okay. want. Okay. I mean, they I'm sent good. me an email for me planning the game, and I felt like they cared about me. Yeah, they did the same thing with Uncharted 4. You should have gotten like a poster, right? I don't know. They just let me see. What they the did it for Uncharted they 4. They gave you like a poster. You can uh, get it printed, and it's, it's like plat- it's just a platinum trophy in the middle, and all the characters surrounding it. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's a platinum trophy in the middle, and then it's. I could just screenshot this. Hold on, hold my poodle. You can keep talking. I'm gonna send it to you I'm on this one. I was wondering how overpowered Thor is going to be. That's gonna be. I bet to you all out. his moves are gonna have a red ring around him. I just want to. I just want to see the fight. I just want to see. Like, I mean, they did a fantastic job of having these like gods fight each other. And the set pieces are awesome. Like when fucking Atreus called the world serpent for an assist. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like shit. And it was quick oh, too. Was like he's language. been moving so slow this entire game, and as soon as. Uh, H, uh, Trace hit L1, dude. He said, whoop, and tackle the thing down, dude. Oh my god, it was awesome. The dragon fight. We haven't even spoken about the dragon fight. Oh, that was, I felt alive. That fucking set piece ridiculous. Going up to the mountain while he's attacking your elevator. I'm like, what is happening right now? Yeah. The dragon fight was another great set piece, dude. And the way it ended too. Mm-hmm. He just stood there and it, he fell. Oh my god! Cinematography, people. Yeah. He just stood there and it fucking landed in front of him, and it looked so. It was just ah, ah, random. Yeah. No Turn- cuts. Yeah, I looked at. Um, I went on YouTube mm-hmm. and after I beat the game, I went on YouTube and I looked at a bunch of the fights. Uh huh. And then, like you said, they're all no cuts. It's one shot. The entire game is and literally some, one shot. So way, so how? Because I was thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, how they? Before it happened, I would pause. I'm like, now how are they gonna transition from this point to this? But some way, somehow, in the creative way, they get from point A to point B. It doesn't matter where the shot ended. It it, they it still follows. Find a way. It, it, yeah. yeah, if someone gets hit up far away, the camera's chasing the person, so they can get the so then they can get the shot, the reverse shot, and they'll just circle around, and you see like uh, Kratos coming. There's yeah. always somebody. Some there's always a subject, yeah. and it just follows somebody. It's so good. Fantastic. Fan fucking tastic, Randall. Ha ah, man. It got me thinking that maybe when I do my um when I do my film, mm-hmm. I've ever since that since you mentioned that and I've noticed it, I've been thinking about maybe I might try to do new cuts. And see if you can try doing that. Hey, you can go for it, dude. You're gonna have to redo the intro though. I'm talking about like when they start fighting. Okay, yeah, there's the poster for it. Oh, it says how many hours you played too. Yeah, yeah it was lit. One. Cool, cool, cool. What is that? When you get the platinum, they email you this. Oh, okay. They did the same thing for Uncharted 4, I think. Uh, sorry, audio listeners, but... <laughs> My junk is going to say, you died 364 times. In an hour. In an hour. <laughs> oh, that's another thing that's going to help put into perspective the the last fight, or the last Valkyrie for you. I think... They they put up like a infographic saying, "Oh, this is how many times people died to this, this, or this." The last fight, I think, on near difficulty, for every one time that somebody beat her, they died thirty six times. Oh my god! Jeez. On the hardest difficulty in the game, it was a hundred to one. Randall, lower the fucking difficulty, all right? <laughs> Just don't put yourself through that shit. There's the you you I gain nothing, man. I, I beat the game thirty six times, Randall. Hey, that's nothing. For where I'm coming from, that's nothing. Okay. Wait, you have a good chance to grind in uh, Niflheim. That's the thing I was telling you, Anthony. It's like Diablo, where mm-hmm. you go into this maze that's timed because there's poison there and you can only breathe it for so long. Um, and they have like six rooms. There's a there's a Valkyrie in there, so you have to fight her in the time limit. And um, oh there's certain God, set rooms... Was, uh... There's certain set rooms, but in between rooms, there's traps, uh, mm-hmm. like things that slap down or blades. But every room, the enemies you fight are randomized. So every time you do the run, it's different. Okay. 
That'll be fun then. Cobra over here like... kicking me when I'm down, dude. Huh? Cobra's over here kicking yep. me when I'm down. Should have seen Anthony in Horizon Zero Dawn. Died quite a lot too. Yeah, he's trash. And that wasn't even on the hardest difficulty. Cause he's trash. Fuck. All right. Which I'm playing on normal. I think I played on normal one of the easiest. Unless it's unless it, there's a trophy tied to it, the difficulty. There's no point in me wasting. Why am I gonna get frustrated for no reason? We, well, so that you don't see it's boring. Exactly. No, the next maybe they'll hate. Hey, Anthony you said don't put difficulty levels. We should do that next time. And that's how nobody that's how watches do. you. <laughs> All right. I was gonna say I'm done talking about uh, God of War. By the way. Like I think all the cool parts I think we pretty pretty much talked about. Yeah, I'm done. I wish I had sucks. a neuralizer. I'll make one for you. Is that what you <laughs> did to forget about the whopper? You just ran one of those in there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why he's saying he wishes because he, he accidentally neuralized himself before he got the uh the neuralizer. So he has it laying around in his room. <laughs> hmm. Oh man. All right, so that's it. Then uh, let's quickly go through the fucking releases this week. Uh, games first. Let's go. Yeah. Give me a sec. Where the hell am I? You think that's going to be good? Yes, Randall. I know it's going to be good. Really? I know it's going to be good. Hmm. It's a proper spot. I, the first trailer I saw of it, I'm like, it's going to be good. The well, same reason I not like trailer. Play. The same reason I like the, the the Hulk game in the back, uh, the open world one, I think, for Xbox. You can just oh. be a superhero jumping in the fucking city, Randall. I love that game. Okay? It's just Spider-Man just swinging, doing his thing. You can get different costumes, Randall. I guess because I'm not a huge Spider-Man fan. But oh, then that's why. That's yeah. why I'm a little detached from him. Okay, well. What a guy. What a guy, dude. Uh, it's not that I don't it? like him. It's just that he's from... never been like at the top of my list. Okay. From how little I've seen from the game alone, I'm just going in treating it as if it's Arkham, but with Spidey. And I like Spider-Man more than Batman, so I'm fine with it. Really? Wow. Yeah. I didn't know Peter's that. my guy, dude. He was your guy. He's not here anymore, Brian. Yeah. He, uh, oh, my. Where is he, Randall? <laughs> what is he? <laughs> all right. All right. We got, we got to wrap up here. Uh, Claws of Fury for Nintendo Switch. 428 Shibuya Scramble for PC and PS4. I don't know what the hell that is. Dragon Quest 11, Echoes of an Elusive Age. It. I've heard it's... What happened? I need it. It's on my wish yeah, list. I need it. a fucking It's play. on PS4 and PC. Apparently it's it's phenomenal. So if anyone likes the RPG... Uh, what, Dragon Quest? Yeah, like if you're into like turn-based RPGs, this game is apparently ridiculous. I can't yeah. believe they still make turn-based games. Because people... There's a, there's definitely an audience for it. That's the... And people will buy it. I love turn-based uh, Dimension Drive for PS4, Moonfall Ultimate for PS4. Oh, I'm sorry, for Nintendo Switch, Ninja Clash of Carrots for Nin- Nintendo Switch and PS4. And it looks like it's a fox and a rabbit with weapons. It's weird. My mom is a or okay. What the hell? The name of the game is Son of a Witch on Nintendo Switch, but the icon shows my mom is a witch. All right. Arcade Islands Volume One for PS4, Full Blast for for uh, PS4, PS. What is PSN? What is that? Uh, PSNV. PSNV was like VR. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but Nintendo Switch. PlayStation Net Vita. No. Uh, Vita? Oh, maybe Vita. Oh. I don't know. Uh, Planet Alpha for PS4, Shadows Awakening for PS4. Zone of the Enders, the second runner, and uh, Mars, which is like a VR version of Zone of the Enders. I heard some is actually pretty cool because you get to be inside the mech. Oh shit! Uh, Gone <laughs> Home for Nintendo Switch, Lifeless Planet Premier Edition for Nintendo Switch, Bro Force, Bro Force for Nintendo Switch, Hyperlight Drifter mm. for Nintendo Switch. Damn, I feel like we could have made a game like that, man. and we could still make a game like that. We can't. It's already been made. Okay, well we make it with Just sort call of bros. it Sis Force. Yeah, and we put all the fucking like Charlie's Angels is in it, Kill Bill chick in it. Uh, Just every role Charlie Theron does, she's in it. Yeah, dude. All oh, Furios, bro. I think I'm pretty sure all those characters we named are in that game already. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Just Marvel's... name somebody like Terminator. 
Marvel's Spider-Man, PS4, SNK, Heroines, Tag Team Frenzy, uh, Yokai Watch Blasters, Red Cat Corp, and White Dog Squad for 3DS. I don't even know why they're still making 3DS games. <laughs> It'll be White Dog. Fuck. Yeah, White Dog. White Dog Squad. NASCAR Heat 3 P- for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Siggy or Siggy? A fart for Mel- Melusina? What the fuck? It looks like Mario. You see him? Mm-hmm. Wow. For Nintendo Switch, PS4, and probably Vita. I think that's what PS would be. Uh, Immortal Unchained for PS4. SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy for PS4. Super Inefficient Golf for N- Nintendo Switch. And NBA 2K19 20th Anniversary for Nintendo Switch. Oh, I got a weird question. Go for it. Just because I saw this picture and this? because of your comment, yeah. Okay. Do you think that Mario would be worthy? Of what? Munion. No. He kills people. He kills. He does? Go- he kills Goombas. Like, he squashes them. I mean, it's not like gr- like gruesome, but he like... I, I mean, Thor kills people too. Oh, you're right. You're right. Um, Is he worthy? I don't know. He says Mario worthy. Yeah, I don't. I don't no. think so. I don't think he'd be worthy. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think he'd be worthy. He picks flowers like they aren't even his. I mean, Waluigi, on the other hand, you know, that's a different question. Waluigi's far from being worthy, Brian. He swims wherever he wants. There's no that's, water. He spawns the it. The fuck. He's uh, just... Movies coming out this week. We oh, got Lord. God bless the broken road. The nun. If anybody wants to scare the oh, shit out of himself. Peppermint, The Apparition. Uh, they still have a date, so and that's next week. Uh, the Nun looks like a good time if you want to get scared. The Apparition looks cool. But... And for music, I didn't even see anything that I saw here that's worth mentioning. So unless someone drops another surprise album this Friday, uh, don't worry <laughs> about it. Let me see the music. Let me see the music. Lenny Kravitz. Oh, I guess Lenny Kravitz is on here. So yeah, Raise Vibration by Lenny Kravitz. I didn't even notice that. What the oh, Paul fuck? McCartney. Oh, Macy Gray. I've heard that name. <laughs> Paul McCartney. I'm Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. All right. Let me start wrapping up here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want to support the stream, go to patreon.com slash adlrplays. To throw us a couple bucks our way, you can get some videos early. Some audio early. Or if you just want some money to throw away, you know what I'm saying? Just throw it my way. Mm. Uh, if not, you want to watch live, go to twitch.tv slash ADLR to uh, join in on the chat on whatever we're discussing. If you can't make it to the live stream, then you can watch it on youtube.com slash ADLR plays later on in the week when it goes live for the public. Uh, I have nothing to pimp. Uh, we're probably doing Mario Tennis Aces this weekend. I don't know what day, and I don't know if we're live streaming it. But it will definitely be recorded in some way. Uh, we need to get another camera so you can start uh, recording people' reactions while they play. I have, well, yeah, I, I, I can get the setups uh, working. I just need a need time to set it up. Um, I was gonna say the God of War videos are going up uh, on Mondays. Uh, Call of Duty World War Two videos are going up Wednesdays. Next game we're probably going to be playing is Guacamole 2. Going to be shit. see if we can test out the parsec. So when are you getting that? Uh, I don't know. Sometime this week probably. Oh, shit. Um, that's two player, right? That's four player. Four. The story is four player. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I mean, if you're playing with us, Randall, you let me know because then we have one more open slot that we can play with somebody from par- on parsec. Are you doing a straight run through? Just playing as much as we can. Like, like, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? We'll probably play a bit. It's going to be recorded, so I don't know if we're going to live stream it or not, but most likely record. And that'll go up on the, on the site as well. Or I'm sorry, on YouTube. Uh, I think see, and then after that, I'll probably get uh, Spider-Man. Or maybe I'll get oh, both shit. of them. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Oh, shit. I don't know. Depending on how high I am. Yeah, Brian. Brian. <laughs> yeah, Brian's just fucking losing it. Uh, yeah, I'm wait- then, the thing I'm waiting for is tomorrow because i don't know if you checked the discord probably not randall but funimation put a joke up i think oh. it's a joke i'm not believing it's a thing until i see it's a thing yeah you know how they do like the a new foe has appeared a new challenger for smash bros do you know how that works yeah, yeah, yeah. i can just show him the image bro yeah just show him the picture they have a silhouette of broly 
They need a fucking relax. No, no. They need a fucking relax. Are you serious? They nah, nah. They're not gonna. They need a fucking. That's not even funny to me. That that was a spit in my mouth. They're not gonna do that, bro. Who posted that? Funimation. Uh, Funimation. I don't see that them doing that because isn't that isn't that one of the rules? Not rules, but isn't that one of the things like they're only adding characters that made a debut in games? I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Because I don't think there's a single character that's in there that hasn't started in the game. Like they're not. They never uh, added an anime character. They never added a. Like all the characters they've added are, are were premiered in a game. But a lot of games, particularly fighting games, are throwing people in there that don't. Oh, you're right. Have any, Negan, I mean, Negan's, yeah. Negan's in, Tekken, in You're right. So. You're right. You're right. Uh, all right, guys. So trying to wrap this in up. Tekken too. Yeah, Rambo. Anything you want to pimp? I do have a new channel now called Loaded Up. Okay. That I got the title from Brian that I got permission from. So he didn't have a copyright. What do you mean? He had permission? I mean, but it, it is his saying. You know what I mean? Like, you I know, mean, everybody steals it. my saying. And right, nobody it's not gives stolen me credit, if, you, so. if you don't own it. Okay. That's what I'm. I was, what I was gonna say is everybody steals my shit and doesn't give me credit. So you, you're you're fine because you even mentioned it to me. <laughs> you don't own it, so you're not stealing anything. It's that. No one's talking about that. I'm saying what did creature owns things. Anthony. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I don't think Anthony yeah, has so friends. It's loaded up on YouTube. Unfortunately, I, I haven't met the what is it credentials or whatever the case is that you gotta have in order to get your custom URL. Uh huh. So, so if I can get that. some more followers, then I can get my custom URL and I'll be easier to find. But I only have one video right now of me doing a, a combo in Dragon Ball. That's it. Okay. Uh, Brian, you got anything you need to pimp? <clears throat> I'll, I might shoot tomorrow. I don't know. Wow. We had to, we had to pimp that up. What do you mean tomorrow? Okay. Date? Uh, this is... uh, what's the date? September 6th. 2018 after the if i do stream it's gonna be after the direct so maybe 6 30 or 7 eastern standard time p.m i mean what are you gonna stream uh, music or game probably dragon ball i mean my i don't have a graphics card yet so i can't play the character i spent 30 dollars on oh my god we got some people firing shots in the chat about what so it starts off with the what you were naming your channel and somebody and cooler put randall's whoppers and then Gabby's asking, "What the, what is the channel about?" And then, uh, and then she asks, "Does he just load games and not play them?" Oh, here's your link to your channel. I think. Yep, yeah, that's I the correct you, one. Javi, Javi's Javi a found it. Javi, Javi's a boy. How did Javi find this? Because Javi's he's a legendary super he saiyan. I don't know if you he's, know that. he's he's one out of my two viewers that I have. It's Same him here. and Kelsey. Okay, Javi's my guy. That was a man, dude. All right. That's it. If you guys got nothing else, I'll leave you guys to it. See you guys next week for proper time on Tuesdays. Today was actually a fluke. This week was a fluke. Uh, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Are we starting the podcast? <laughs>